I was first approached by Richard Raymond, our uh, spectacular director, um, and it was the first time I met, I'd met him. And uh, he was just insanely passionate about this project. So he approached me and he told me all about Afshin. It was a lot to take in. Um, so what he did was he sent me uh, interview tapes that he had uh, got with Afshin in, in Paris. Uh, he went and interviewed Afshin from kind of birth and asked him about everything up until the present day. And he sent me seven hours <laughs> of interview tapes. So I put the first one in, watched it and was hooked. And I literally watched them all back to back over the course of a day. I just did not stop. Um, I was just riveted. And uh, I called my agent straight away and just said, yeah, uh, I, I want to do this. I think actually the, the character came out of the dance. Working with him was a pure joy, an absolute joy. Um, and it's so nice to acquire a great friend as well through work, which doesn't happen all the time. Um, and yeah, we laughed and we, uh, <laughs> we, we sweated and we, you know, he, he's hands on. He did a few dance lessons himself just to show his support. <laughs> um, he was just, I've been inspired by him time and time again. Um, and there's, there's, there's no problem that he kind of acknowledges as a problem. Uh, he's limitless. So Afshin obviously is a real life character and um, so there were limitations I guess to what you can do but also it's very freeing because you have a wealth of information to go on. Um, you know, I could I could contact him if I wanted to. I could ask him questions about specific things in his life and how he felt about certain things. Um, it was a really interesting experience for me because um, you know it's so recent, and you have to be really respectful, um, and you have to ask the right questions, but also not ask the right questions as well. You have to leave certain things unsaid um, so that you can discover your own take on certain things because you have to ultimately own uh, the role. He grew up in a situation where freedom of expression was not accepted on a, on a broad scale. So, and what I like about him, he's got, a, he's got an inherent honesty about him in that he doesn't like that. <laughs> he uh, fundamentally does not like the fact that his voice is silenced before he has a chance to find out what it is. He's not an outspoken character. That's another fascinating thing about him. He's actually quite shy and timid and quiet, which for me was just another thing where you think, well, hang on a minute, you, you're this kind of visceral, angry, uh, contorted and beautiful dancer, but socially you're quite awkward. So yeah, it, it, was, it was just a fascinating prospect for me to try and kind of figure out and delve into. Whenever you saw, I was a big Michael Jackson fan, and whenever you sort of saw him in interviews and things, he, he's very timid and very shy and very softly spoken, but then you see him dance, and he's one of the most assertive, um, kind of sexual, you know, uh, interesting dancers there has ever been. Um, and Afshin reminded me kind of of, of of him. I flew to Paris and uh, watched Afshin's graduation dance, and, I'd seen it so many times, thousands of times on, on online, because they were, I had the video. So I knew it back to front and inside out, but I uh, had never seen it live. And it was scary because at the time our, our hair was the same and our physique was very similar. And I'm sat there and I'm obviously thinking, you know, I have to play this guy. And it was just magnetic, it was crazy. The, 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 I, the whole time I think I just didn't, I didn't sit back, you know. <laughs> With, with, Ak with Akram, um, who was pivotal to the movie, um, you know, did the, obviously the London Olympics and is a world-class dance choreographer. Um, he, he was all about learning, you know, telling us to learn our stuff first so that then you can riff. You know, it's like if you learn the piano, you learn technically and then you can play around with the form. So a lot of, it wasn't like just letting loose and letting, throwing caution to the wind. Uh, we trained for like three months, six days a week uh, in London, and it was very hard. <laughs> uh, it was the most challenging thing I've ever done. The fundamental thing that came from Akram 
was to think after. Dance first, think, think after, think later. And they taught us the basics and a lot of stretching um, and floor work. And then we started to get up and Akram would come in and do these moves and you would have to learn them fast. And, and... I really have a newfound uh, unlimited respect for dancers. Acting is so much easier than dancing. It is. You know, the physical discipline you have to have to be a dancer. And now I watch, I watch the film, I've seen the film back. I look different physically. My posture and everything changed. Um, they, they completely altered uh, the way, you know, I move. And I found myself on the, ch on the tube kind of upright, sitting upright, you know. Uh, it's a fascinating experience. Frida came on board and just really delved into Alahe. She was fantastic. The character of Alahe, played by Frida, was a, a ballet dancer. Um, so her methods were very different to Afshin's. Afshin's kind of this self-taught rogue, basically. Uh, he likes to think he's good at the beginning of the film, but he's not. He, he doesn't know how to dance at the beginning. Um, and she does. She comes in with this technical flair, and it's just like, whoa, he's completely and utterly kind of amazed by this, this woman. I think it shows in in the scenes when we have together. There's a, like movement there where you get one is something and one is something else. I think if you if you work too closely together on building something together, then you kind of become the same. So we we in dance we were kind of kept separate quite a bit, um, unless we were working on a specific piece. We weren't, uh, you know, she had, Frida went off and did her ballet training, and I did mine with Akram, and uh, it was quite an interesting process. We, we did have this kind of symbiosis, I think, it's fair. And especially in rehearsals too, it's hard, you know, when, when you all day, every day, um, it can get quite stressful. So we, I think we work together quite well, actually. Tom Cullen, uh, another beautiful human being who has this really unique perspective on uh, everything. <laughs> and uh, he brings such... He plays Ardavan, who's or Ardi, who's Afshin's real solid friend uh, at university. He just brings this humanity to the screen, a warmth, uh, a kind of sense of love and, and gentleness to the to the the screen, and I, I really uh, have grown to be good friends with him as well. So very lucky on on this project. Uh, the biggest challenge was leaving no stone unturned and we all put our heads together. We ate, we, we actually cooked uh, gourmet sebsi, uh, an Iranian dish. You know, we got together and ate Iranian food um, and we just kept on checking every word. Cause I mean, if there are words, things they wouldn't say or, um, so yeah, that was a big challenge because the more documentaries you watch, the more responsible you feel for telling a story that's accurate. This journey has been epic. Uh, the whole thing just kind of on my computer I have so many uh, pictures and videos from this whole project all the rehearsal the dance and everything it's been a really special film and a, a real passion project a labor of love uh, for sure I hope people like it <laughs>